What's going on everybody? All right, so I've had a lot of people, you know, in this channel and my main channel, which is Gear Runner. If you don't follow me on that channel, please go check that out. I do a lot of car and truck stuff like that on that channel, mods and stuff. But I've had a, ta a lot of people ask me, where's the gun content? And I've mauled this back and forth where I wanted to bring gun content back or not. YouTube really hates gun content, but I've had so many people ask me about it. I think I'm going to bring gun content back. Um, I can't decide if I do that, I'm not going to leave this channel called knives and gear. Obviously I'll change it. And I didn't want to leave it called guns and gear because I wanted to bring knives into it as well. So I don't know what I'm actually going to name the channel now if I do that. But there's one thing that kind of made me draw back from guns and that was the fact I have to drive like 40, 45 minutes to do a shooting video. I would love to find somewhere closer to me that's like five or 10 minutes away where I can do like shooting videos where I didn't have to drive, you know, almost an hour to get there because by the time I get off at my full-time job, especially in the winter, by the time I drive that far, um, it's getting dark and I really don't have enough time to do a lot of videos, but I do think those are gonna come back. And to start that, I'm gonna do an EDC pocket dump style video. This is this is what I carry on me in my summer. I guess this is my summer EDC. So uh, let's just get into it. Some of this stuff has changed, some of it's not. Um, but we're gonna get into it. We're gonna see what all I carry. Um, well, let's just go ahead and start out. I always have on hat. I always have on a hat. Very, very seldom and are you caught me without a hat. I wear a hat to church and when I leave church, not inside, but I always have a hat. Um, of course, my wedding band, I uh, can't wear that at work, but I always have that on me outside of work. And a lot of times I wear a watch. Now, the only watch I have is my Apple watch right now, and I'm not a huge fan of that, so I don't wear it very often. But if I have like a nice uh, diver's automatic or something, most time I wear a watch, which I don't have now. But let's get on to what everybody wants to see. So, in my right hand pocket, I have my keys. And I have different keys for different cars because you know I have several cars and the keys would just be huge if I put key fobs on every single keychain. I'd have a keychain like this big. So I have separate keys for each car with what keys I need like for work and stuff like that on that keychain as well. In the same pocket on the right hand side, I carry some form to make fire. Now this is a lighter that was sent to me by Gene. I really, I really appreciate that. Uh, I was going to think about giving it away, but I decided, you know, it was special that a subscriber sent this to me, so I decided to keep it. I did change one thing though. I put a Zippo butane insert into it because Zippo lighters uh, run out of their normal fluid pretty quick. So I put the butane in it and uh, it, it holds fluid very well. Uh, you can't see that. There, you can just a little bit. I really like the butane insert. Also, let's move to the left-hand pocket real quick. In the left-hand pocket, I always keep my iPhone, which is what I'm shooting this video with. I always carry a Malkoff flashlight. This is the Bodyguard version two. And at work, I carry the version one because it's just a little bit shorter. But usually when I'm not at work, I carry the version two, which is the longer version. This thing is stupid bright. Um, love this light. Malkoff makes some of the best flashlights on the market. Um, they're not cheap, but they're worth every penny. Also in my left pocket, I carry my Hinderer pen. Uh, this thing's actually came in pretty handy. I didn't know if I would carry this that often when I got it. I thought, ah, my first, you know, tactical style pen, I guess. Uh, this didn't know if I would carry it. And I carry this thing a lot and I use it a lot, which is what amazes me. I, I've never needed a pen and now that I carry one, I actually use it. In my left hand cargo pocket, because in the summertime, I usually wear cargo shorts because I carry a lot of stuff. I carry a mask. I don't always wear that thing anymore, but I carry one just to appease people. If I go in somewhere and there's a lot of people that have it on, I put it on. In my right hand front pocket, the last thing I carry is my knife. Uh, this week it is the Civivi uh, Elementum S35. Uh, I usually test like a different knife every week. And that's this week's knife that we're testing. So stay tuned and the final results will be up 
later on this week or early next week. In my right hand cargo pocket. Oh, one thing I almost forgot. And I've been carrying this a lot because I really, really like this. Appendix right here in the front. I carry my Bastinelli uh, La Sanction. God, I love this knife. And, and I just like having a little fixed blade on me. I've been carrying this pretty much all the time since I got it. And the reason is, is it just melts away. I forget it's there. I literally just hook it to the front of my belt right here and I forget it's there. And it's just a solid little fixed blade. And uh, I just like the way it carries Scout style. I can't remember if it comes Scout carry or not, or if I made it Scout carry because it's got a bunch of different holes that you can do it. But that is awesome. And I just lose it in my belt line. Just lose it. Next, in my right front cargo pocket, I carry two forms of trauma. One to induce trauma, one to relieve trauma. And in my right front pocket, I carry the stuff to relieve trauma. So I have a little pocket trauma kit and a rat's tourniquet. Now I know these aren't the best tourniquets, but they're small, compact, and they just kind of hide away and it's better than nothing. And my thinking on this is, if you're ever in a situation where you need a firearm, the likelihood that you yourself or someone else around you is gonna need some form of medical attention is probably pretty good. So I carry something to relieve trauma. Now, in my back pocket, I won't go ahead and show you, I do carry a wallet, I about forgot that. Um, nothing great there, just a wallet. On my left hand side, which is over here, I know I've patted this side, it's over here. I carry two spare magazines. On my right hand side, I carry my Glock 19 with my Enforce APLC and it has Spartan uh, or Ameriglow Spartan sights on it. And I carry that on my right side. Now this is a Gen 5 Glock. It does have the half moon cut out the front. I actually just recently purchased another Gen 5 Glock with the front serrations. It does not have that half moon. And as soon as I get to go to the range and put some rounds through it, make sure it's gonna function, that gun will actually replace this gun. Okay, so I always have this belt. No matter what I'm doing, no matter where I'm at. Sometimes at work, I wear a leather belt, but most of the time, I wear this Aries gear belt. I want to apologize for all the cars. I don't know where these people's coming from. They're just like an interstate down this little back road. I don't get it. But I carry this, Air, or I wear this Aries gear belt. I love this. It has this locking system right here. I mean, you can just micro adjust it however you want to, and I've never had this thing come loose. You do have to be careful because you'll lose these little um, retainers right here for your loop, but they do... Um, actually send you an extra one. I've never lost one because I've, I've, I've always thought I need to remember that. But um, these belts, I mean, you can not squish this belt. It is an awesome belt. Definitely not cheap, but this is gonna hold up your pants and all your gear, so you need a good belt. I always carry my um, spare mags in a Tuxton Tactical mag carrier. Um, love this mag carrier. Another thing that I usually just forget that it's even on me. I use two different holsters, and it depends on how I'm feeling that day, how I carry that day. Today, I'm actually using a Stealth Gear USA holster. Um, love these holsters. They are very comfortable. Got padding on the back, Kydex on the front. Um, just love these. And if I'm not carrying my Glock 19 with my Stealth Gear holster, I am carrying my SIG P365 in my Tuxton Tactical uh, dual carry holster with a flush fit magazine on the 65 and a 12 round magazine in the spare. And you can see it just basically sits flush with each other. It doesn't kind of sit offset or anything and make it feel weird. Everything just feels conforming across your whole body. So uh, this thing is actually the best um, appendix holster I've ever used, bar none. I, I've carried all the big name appendix holsters. Love that one the best. And maybe it's just cause I use it with the 365 and I had Glock 19s with the other one. The 365 is an amazing gun to carry appendix. I always tell people, if you're gonna carry appendix, train and be very safe because there's things you don't wanna shoot and it's not what you're thinking. 
your femoral artery runs down your leg. If you actually shoot yourself with that, uh, you can bleed out pretty quick. Uh, I had a cousin who had a friend who actually accidentally shot himself in his driveway carrying appendix and he bled out before anyone could get there. So if you're gonna carry that way, be very safe and make sure you practice carrying that way and always keep your finger anywhere away from the trigger and make sure your garments are away from the trigger when you're reholstering or putting the holster on. So that is everything that I carry, everything. And a lot of people is gonna say, there's no way you carry it much, but you can ask anyone that knows me, I carry all this stuff anytime I go out. Anytime I go out, I have all this stuff on me. And once you get used to carrying this, you really don't notice the weight. You don't pay any attention to it. You just don't. And I wear a double extra large shirt because I like my shirts a little loose in my shoulders. I don't like it tight on my shoulders. And because I wear a shirt that's a little baggy, it all blends in and you can't even tell I've got on me. And no one pays any attention. And if they do see anything, they probably just think it's a cell phone because people carry those big, huge cell phones on their side now. And people just think that's probably what it is. But that's everything I carry on me. Uh, maybe this is a lot. Let me know in the comment section. You're like, you're crazy that you carry all that. Or maybe you're like, I carry twice that much. What are you doing? You're not anywhere near prepared to go out in the world today. I don't know. But this is what I carry and this is what I feel comfortable with. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.